Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful, but these times are in, well, they're appalling. And uh, I'm in the midst of uh, currently uh, tearing down Swill and Grog HQ, sadly enough. But uh, today I'm having a look at uh, a beer that uh, I first took a look at back in uh, Hawaii in 2019, a holiday I took there just before moving here to Toowoomba. In fact, um, it was uh, Red Horse beer from uh, San Miguel in the uh, Philippines. It's uh, 8% alcohol by volume. And uh, yeah, the style is a strong lager or malt liquor. Now, when I had it in Hawaii, it was in a uh, 500 ml can. And I think it was actually contract brewed in Hong Kong. Strangely enough, it wasn't uh, a product of the Philippines, but uh, this one is. And uh, as you may have guessed, I uh, got a six pack of this from the uh, international grocery store just uh, down the road. I couldn't resist. All right, so let's uh, grab the trusty BB Barfly bottle opener and uh, crack off the cap. And I'll uh, pour it out into this uh, Kozel glass. Another one of the few glasses I've still got. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that hasn't been packed away yet. All right. Let's get a look at the uh, appearance of that. Well, yeah, it's quite effervescent and uh, yeah, I guess you could call it a clear golden color. Disappointing amount of head. Could have poured it a lot more aggressively, I suppose. Yeah, a little under a finger there of uh, white head. Hmm. All right, so let's check out the uh, aroma. All right. Uh, yeah, some uh, sweet malt coming through there. Although it's quite subtle, really. Uh, not much else to uh, comment on. So it's uh, time for the taste test, folks. Let's dive into this one. Cheers to you all. Mm. All right, well, um, up front, a nice hit of sweet malt. Um, and it is quite uh, sweet. There's a noticeable alcohol presence uh, in this one. You definitely know that you're drinking a stronger type of uh, beer. Bit of sort of um, faint sort of spiciness too. Maybe a bit of sort of, you know, orange orange peel or, or citrus uh, there. No real bitterness to speak of whatsoever. Um, let's have another gulp. Yeah, it's definitely holding that taste profile. And um, yeah, that alcohol presence is uh, is quite noticeable. Although that doesn't really detract from it. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice, big, bold brew. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, for some of us that are going through some appalling times, it uh, certainly uh, hits the spot. Uh, I have to say though that it's not quite as good as the uh, red horse that I had in the can in Hawaii. There's just something lacking there. Um, but given that that was some time ago, I, yeah, I can't quite put my finger on it, but yeah, for some reason, uh, this San Miguel in the bottle just doesn't uh, impress me as much. Is it drinkable? Well, yeah, I find it drinkable, but certainly not one that you could uh, session. But you could have a few of these and feel quite pleasantly toasted. Um, yeah, it's a nice enough beer to uh, enjoy at the uh, appropriate time. I mean, uh, in a world that's uh, just filling up with uh, lots of, uh, you know, low carb and uh, low alcohol options that are absolutely flavorless. Um, yeah, <laughs> 
it's a it's a it's a fine choice really <laughs> all right and the price point well yeah if i remember the six pack was oh gee whiz god it was around about the 25 dollar mark which is yeah pretty pricey even by australian standards but you have to remember that uh well, one alcohol is taxed really heavily here beer in particular i think it starts at about 33 percent and uh you know when the abv is up at you know eight percent it just jacks the amount of you know tax up uh incrementally so uh yeah i mean uh brewing stronger beers here is um not really very lucrative uh and also you know selling them isn't uh you know for the most part it's just tax that's going to the government uh, unfortunately mm. yeah the retailer you know makes very little mm. all right well um i guess it's time to have one final gulp of uh red horse uh for uh 2023 and uh give it a score out of 10. Hmm. <clears throat> well, well, um, yeah, just a bit of gas and, uh, that was kind of coming up there. <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah, I think all in all, not a bad brew. It's, um, definitely one worth trying one, uh, that needs to be added to your, uh, beer bucket list. It's, uh, yeah, definitely a very world renowned brew. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, people, uh, you know, seek it out, um, you know, outside of the Philippines where it's obviously readily available. So it's definitely a beer that's got a name for itself. Um, yeah, I'd uh, probably give uh, this variant or this actual real version of it uh, in the bottle that is. Um, I'll give it 7.75 out of 10 so uh there you go folks anyway uh i'm just going to kick back and uh, enjoy the rest of this and well i'll see you all in the next review whenever that may be but uh until then fare thee well all